All right, this is my boy, Ollie. He had a growth on his rear paw. All right, we got it removed and it was pretty big, I guess. Uh, here is a pic of it and it's a fairly open wound. You can see that there's some stitches. Okay, he broke through these stitches and the vet wanted to charge us $500 to restitch this. So with the help of my sister-in-law, who's a nurse, we decided to learn about wound care, all right? If it wasn't for her, we would have never accomplished this for one thing or even had a chance. All right, so you can see on his paw, the bandage is starting to drain, okay? So we would change this daily. And this was at the beginning, okay? I didn't start cleaning around there for a day or two because I didn't really know what I was doing. We would spray it and do all that, but here it is. You can see the stitches as well. And here is a shot of when the silver actually stuck to the wound. Now we would cover this back and leave it for a day. And you can see it's draining, so we're wanting to change the bandage. So here you go. You can see it's separated from the silver and this is the wound at that point. I cleaned around the wound, just around the wound, never touched the wound itself. Okay. And here's another pick with the bandaid just off. And then a pick where I cleaned around it. And I'm not sure if this is the same day, but you can see it kind of rising to the surface. So there's not a massive divot anymore opposed to this. Okay. And another bandage change possibly, and there's no drainage. And you'll be able to see it's slowly getting better. Now I would clean around the wound, around the fur daily. Never would I wipe the wound itself, just around. Now, this was a great pick because this was very encouraging. You can see it's like almost to the surface where it's going to start to heal now from the outside in. You can sort of see this right now. This was at the stage where it was actually level. All right, so probably three weeks in. And this would have been probably last week. And... I was very happy with this as well. Now, if we go to the next picture, you can start to see it starting to heal itself and get smaller in diameter. And this one is doing remarkably well. I think we waited two days for that one. We were busy. And you can see how it's starting to even form a scab at this point. And here you go. This was with a bandage on, okay? Loosely wrapped, nothing crazy. I'll take you through the process of the bandages, okay, and show you the product that we used as well. All right, I'm gonna quickly take you through the products that seem to work for us during this process. All right, so we would start off with a pad. All right, this is a eight by 15 pad, okay. And we would, Get this all set up ahead of time, okay? Because there's no fumbling around when you're dealing with a dog that would see this coming a mile away on a daily basis, okay? So we would get it prepped up like this. My wife would usually do this because I'm fumbling right now. And then we would put this silver on, all right? This product right here, and this would go two layers, and don't ask me why two, because I think it's because of the drainage, all right? Or the potential drainage. Now, here's the product, okay? Now, this, now I'm going to be bastardizing this and I don't even know really what it does altogether, but it's like an antibacterial 
sponge and it absorbs any drainage from the wound and then it kind of melts, right? So it doesn't stick to the wound. You ever had a bandage that would stick to the wound and then whatever growth that you had going on would just be torn off because it would be adhered to the wound. Well, whereas this is less likely to happen, okay? And then on top of that, you also have another type of silver, okay? And here is the product, ActiCoat Flex, okay? And with this silver, all right, you place one of these, I'll forget it off, on top of the two other silvers, just like this, okay? And I press it onto the tape on the side so it doesn't fall off in transit trying to wrangle your dog down, okay? So now this is ready to go. This would be what we would put on the wound daily. And if it's stuck to the wound, okay, say if you take off the bandage, and for some reason this adhered to the wound, we would leave it because you don't want to tear anything off, right? Now it's supposed to not tear any wound off, but you have to use common sense, right? Because maybe some of this part was on the wound or that part or whatever the case may be. Because you could leave this on the wound for three to seven days, but we didn't do that because whenever we seen drainage, right, we would change the bandage. But sometimes, maybe once or maybe twice max, this was actually stuck to the wound. If it's stuck, leave it, it'll dissolve, and the next day it'll probably just release itself naturally, okay? All right, so after we removed the bandage, all right, we would use this gauze, to clean around the wound, not the wound itself, but around the wound, right? Because we don't want to wipe anything off because the silver basically kills all bacteria on site, right? And we had more than enough of that. So the wound was always um, clean and sterilized, but now we were wanting to clean around the wound. So we would spray this antiseptic okay, onto a gauze pad and clean around the wound because there would be kind of maybe gunk buildup and whatever dirt or and debris there might have been from being wrapped overnight, okay? So we would clean it with this gauze, all right? We would put the bandage on the wound, okay? And we would spray before we put the bandage on the wound, we would spray the wound five times with this, okay? Now, you're supposed to let it dry, but with a dog, that's next to impossible, all right? So spray it five times. So clean it first with the gauze, all right? That's been soaked with this. Then spray the wound five times, okay? Then place this bandage over top of it, okay? Now, we wouldn't let it dry, and it wouldn't really stick to the fur, all right, or the paw perfectly, all right, because obviously it's wet. And the bandage wouldn't really hold in place, but we also needed to wrap it to kind of keep everything together, so we used this product. But we found this was the best product because it would allow breathing, right? So wrap it around, and then you'd have to tape it, okay, where it would end with this. We also tried a self-adhesive bandage, but I found this ended up kind of applying a little bit too much pressure, right? I would wrap it a little too tightly at times, and we found this gave him a secondary injury or a wound, okay? because this would stick to his fur and he would chew on it 
and it would rub against his skin and it kind of wore through the hair and created a secondary wound. So we moved to this, which was a little milder, all right? And then we applied a sock, all right, to cover it all, because he is a chewer. He needed a barrier to keep him away from the wrapping, because he would just chew right through this, because we had a cone on in him, and we had a good collar on it, but he figured out within maybe five days how to work around the cone, all right? So cones aren't foolproof, all right? We have an Australian Shepherd, and he is a smart bugger, and he would always tear through these things, okay? So we put a sock over top of it, once it's all bandaged up, and then we take this tape again, right? So we would tape right about here, and onto the fur, because this wouldn't stick to the fur really, but it would hold the sock in place, but not stick to the fur to cause him pain when we would remove this every day, all right? And so there'd be probably this much tape sticking to the fur, all right? And the sock, but that wasn't enough because he would still figure out a way to bend his cone in such a way to get at this tape. And this tape isn't really sticky. Then we would actually use this duct tape to protect this tape, okay? Not to get on his fur because that wouldn't be good at all, okay? Just to cover this. And it's quite the process. This went on for pretty much a month, all right? Now for us, this was a two-person job, all right? My wife held his cone from his collar, okay? And placed a lick mat of peanut butter in front of him to keep him interested, all right? While I would remove the old bandage, clean the wound, reapply the bandage. So, you know, it took a few minutes, okay? Now I could have done this myself, but this was way easier. Now, all these products can be found online and Amazon. Now, they're quite expensive, but it is what it is. I couldn't have imagined going through this um, without these products. And every day we would send a picture to my sister-in-law and she would tell us what to do and the progress we were making, all right? So here you go. Here's a video to let you know it is possible. All right, take care.